Hello Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Ooh, come on, get it together. We are going to get into another reading for you guys, so thank you all for being here. Okay, y'all be sure to subscribe, like the video, thank you all for your support. If you would like to book a reading, the website is below. I can't wait to see you there. A lot of options for you. Also, if you guys would like to donate or contribute to the channel, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. I really appreciate all of you guys who contribute or who have contributed. Even if you want to contribute and you can't financially, I appreciate you being here and supporting in any way that you can, sending positive energy, okay? We are going to get into a message that you need to hear, apparently, because Spirit is saying you need to hear it. So what is the message, Spirit, for Pisces at this time? Ready, angels. Archangel, Spirit, guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Okay. Those, uh, creation is in reverse. We have relax and royalty. So something that you're doing is going to work out regardless. There's some things that have to be wrapped up, okay? Spirit is hitting a wrap it up box on some things. Tying up some loose ends. I got a cough drop in my mouth. Yeah, so you're not able to move forward because right now there's a little bit of conflict that needs to be resolved. Um, this may also be spirit kind of sitting you down, wanting you to re rest and relax, recuperate, self-care with this royalty card, treat yourself. Okay, don't cheat yourself, okay? They want you to relax right now. They may want you to recuperate from whatever work that you've been putting in and kind of take a breather, take a deep breath, and rejuvenate your energy, all right? So if things are moving a little bit slowly, they don't want you to be worried or stressed about it. They want you to know that they're handling some things, okay? They're moving some obstacles out of the way so right now just take a load off okay doesn't mean you necessarily stop working because sometimes i feel like spirit tells us to relax or to chill and you know we take that as okay well maybe i should just do nothing some of you guys that may be true you got to listen to your inner self to see what is right for you but sometimes it just means they want you to keep working at a healthy pace, but not really worry about how far you're going or how much you're getting ahead. Just focus on the task at hand. Okay, this could be about your money because oop, this money card is at the bottom. Let's see what else for Pisces spirit. Can you show me more about this message for Pisces and what they need to know? Secret children. So there's a secret about a child that's going to come out or there's a secret child that's going to come out. Awakening, yep. And father figure. Somebody's got a secret child and you don't know about it, but maybe you had a feeling that they did, okay? This is going to come out. This kid probably is like a year old, maybe two. Maybe, mm, they might be older, but yeah, this secret is about to come out because that was in reverse almost. Now, there could also be a something going on with a child that's going to come out. Um, there could also be something about your childhood that's going to come out. So your father could be telling you something. I don't know how this is happening, y'all. I'm not going to speculate. But it's either a secret child, a secret about your childhood, or a secret that your child may have that's going to come out to the surface. What else? Oh, my God. I told you. The money. Okay. So if you have an issue with somebody paying child support, it's because they have another child. And they don't want anybody to know about it or they don't want you to know about it. Mm -hmm. Or the reason why you're not getting money for your child or to take care of your child is because somebody has 
another kid it, or it's like the, your kid is a secret i don't know blossoming and father figure yeah so this is about your baby daddy this is about your ex-husband your husband this is about your dad maybe your dad didn't support you because he had other children you didn't know about so you may be finding out about a sibling that either you have or that your kid has that's what this is period <laughs> i don't oh my god all right, so shit is in the fan. Things are coming out to the surface, okay? When the funk hits the fan, all the people want to jam. Come on, get with me. The funk is hitting the fan. Mm, mm, mm. Because I shuffled, and that father figure card was still right there. Karmic connection, yeah. Ooh, all right, spirit. What is this? What is this that you want us to know? Because I don't know about these messages lately. Okay? It's a lot. It's a lot. But it's coming out. So if somebody's not paying you child support because they have a secret child that they don't want you to know about, Ain't nobody had shit in 2024. Okay. Let, let's just let's just keep it a book. Can't nobody had nothing in 2024. Okay. This could also be lies or secrets that someone is keeping about your child, like or keeping from your child. Okay. I don't know. What else for Pisces? Because we can't be in here too long, spirit. Spiritual protection, good, and pure intentions. Interesting. Okay. So if you have pure intentions, you're going to have spiritual protection. Uh, Pisces who've been here for a while, I love y'all. Um, I may be coming off a little aggressive from now until whenever spirit feels that the message don't need to be aggressive. And I'm telling you this because when I say things like, hey, don't be weird, you know, support the channel, donate. And you know that you've been supporting the channel. Don't take it as I'm talking about you. If you, you got to really just, please y'all, please be very aware of what's yours and what is not. Because I feel like there may be some people coming into our circle who may need to, you know, get the messages to help them progress their life. But some of you may be past this. Okay. I don't know. Just take it how it resonates. Pure intention says kindness, thoughtful, considerate, unselfish, benevolent. So, yeah, it's not the child's fault. Spiritual protection. So there is some type of spiritual protection that you have, especially if you're keeping your intentions pure. I also feel like there's spiritual protection on your finances, but be intentional. Make sure that you guys are crossing your T's, dotting your I's, and keeping your room clean before you try to clean somebody else's room. That's really what I try to do. Like, I really don't be on here trying to perpetrate. I really do not try to tell y'all things that I'm not actually living in my own life. Okay. And then we have, ooh, fake friend, envious, gossiping, shady, ill wishes, negative energy, malicious intent, covetous. Some of y'all may want to go watch the reading that I don't know if it's out yet, but go subscribe to the Nutcase Network because I'm going to have a reading coming out and it's called... What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? It's called, there's, it's, the title is, there's three people, oh wait, no, sorry. The title is, these three people have bad intentions and you need to know. You're cutting cords no matter what they do. So, the reason I said that is because this card, Pure Intentions and Fake Friend came out during that reading so some of you guys may have a message over there, but they really want you to be intentional. And if you are intentional and you have good intentions, your motives are pure and you come from a place of love, you're not going to get caught in the crossfire of whatever this is that's going on. Okay, straight up. Because there's some stuff going on. And this may even be, okay, this may even be a situation where you're being blocked from creating a child with somebody because they may have secret children that they don't take care of. This could be a situation where you're being prevented from like moving forward right now in this specific moment because this information has to come out in order for some type of chapter to be closed completely or in order for you to receive some type of 
karmic retribution uh, for maybe a wrong that has been done onto you. So don't take it as a punishment that things may be kind of like stationary at this time. I don't think things are stagnant. I just think things may be in a holding pattern for you right now. Okay. Yeah. High priestess. You know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So what does Pisces need to know about the information in the near future? Okay. First of all. Okay. King of Wands and the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody is neglecting a child. There's a father figure neglecting a child. It could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. It could also be a Cancer, maybe another Pisces or Scorpio. They're neglecting their child. And they, they have another child on the way. Ace of Pentacles. Or there's just financial neglect. And then the Ace of Wands. Yeah. But I feel like somebody is just out here creating children and not taking care of them. And then they're not telling people that they have these children. So it's like, that's malicious. Okay, that's malicious. Cosmo. My Cosmo kitty, where you going? He like, I'm out. <laughs> All right, what does Pisces need to know when it comes to the near future? It's like somebody wants to have a bunch of kids, but not actually take care of them. Okay, so what does Pisces need to know when it comes to the near future? Spirit. Ooh, six of wands reversed. Queen of cups, queen of wands. You're not giving this person any attention. You're looking real good, Pisces, especially if you're a feminine energy. Excuse me. You're not giving this person any attention. They may be throwing a little bitch fit, okay? What else does Pisces need to know when it comes to the near future spirit and these messages? The lovers. The star card and the two of cups. You may have been you may have been feeling like you're very unsuccessful when it comes to love or relationships. You may feel like you've given a lot, but you haven't gotten a lot back in return. You haven't been appreciated when it comes to connections and love relationships. You haven't been valued. This could be someone who this is talking about from your past or someone who may be trying to come into your space in the future. Aquarius energy, Gemini energy. But I feel like you're positive about the future. You're positive about meeting the one or meeting. I don't think there is a one. It's just who you choose to be with, who makes you happy, who you can get along with and who you can grow with. I told this to the uh, viewers on the underground. So go subscribe to the underground if you want love readings. But it's like nobody's ever going to be perfect. No one who comes into your life is ever going to be perfect. And you're going to be playing yourself. And end up by yourself forever, lonely forever, if you want love, but you keep assuming that the person who you are meant to be with is going to be perfect. They're not. You just decide what things are you, that you're willing to deal with and you decide what things you're not willing to deal with. And it's, it, you know, there are going to be compromises. I don't think there should be sacrifices, but I feel like there should be compromises that work for each person involved. And that might be the way you think. Okay. But I feel like you're focusing on positivity when it comes to your love life and situations, even though you haven't been very successful. I feel like an opportunity is about to present itself. Okay. What else for Pisces? Three of Wands. Yeah, you're expecting somebody to come towards you or you're waiting for the right person. Tell the right man, come on. That's what you're waiting on. Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Um, There's somebody who you're not paying attention to, Pisces. This person is... Mm, they, this may be a child's mother or a child's father who left you with all of the responsibility of the child and they don't even claim the child. You may feel held back because you're not getting child support for this child and you have to do everything on your own.
Your kid is going to be really successful. All of the, all of the trials and tribulations that you went through raising this child and their, their other parent doesn't take care of them, doesn't love them, doesn't claim them. That child is going to have so much exponential, like abundance. They're going to have so much in their life in the future. I guess you might be worried about them right now emotionally, but you don't have to. You don't have to overcompensate for this other parent. You don't have to run yourself into the ground overcompensating for this other parent. It got real serious, didn't it? They're not missing out on anything. Your kid, if that's the case, they're not missing out on anything. And if you are a parent who's been like, maybe you don't know a lot about your kid because maybe the other parent is trying to keep them from you in the future, you're going to have an opportunity to catch back up with this person. Okay. With the kid, right? When they get older, that's when you, you guys are going to have the opportunity to allow this relationship to blossom. You thought something was going to work out, but it didn't. But it's okay because it's like there's peace. All right. What else? Let's see. What is the six of wands in reverse? But this is what you can expect in the future. So they want you to know your kid is going to be good. Like they're going to be super successful, super happy. Any, any like, mm, any lack of success. I really don't want to call it a lack of success, but any like, Anything that you feel like they may be quote unquote missing out on right now in their childhood, they're going to be able to do this as an adult. You may be witnessing this in, in your children now because they're getting older. Those of you who have children who are older and you went through this, just share maybe some positive reinforcement or encouragement for those who are watching who may have younger children um, in the comments, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. Okay. Gemini energy is here. You've had to make some really hard choices. Um, if you feel that you aren't able to move forward or if you feel that you have been stuck and held back in the position that you're in currently in your life because you're not getting support from the other parent for your child, Spirit is basically telling you that your money is protected or there's some type of financial abundance that's coming into your life. And it's going to be like tenfold, okay? What's the Six of Wands reverse? Knight of Cups, and it's kind of in reverse. So whoever this is, they're not sorry. They don't care, okay? So don't you get stuck dwelling on it because they don't care. Um, the Chariot, this person, I feel like they, they don't care, but they do care at the same time. It's like they're starting, they didn't care for, a, they're starting to feel guilty about it. They're feeling bad about it. Mm -hmm. I also feel like your child may be developing some negative feelings towards their other parent. And they're going to start to make different decisions or go in a different direction in their life. They're not going to be anything like this person. So I really just feel like this is you kind of like reflecting on your kid's life or who they're going to be. They're not going to be like this person. They're going to probably turn out more like you in a positive way when it comes to dealing with their emotions, being able to handle their emotions. Because you're worried about them being emotionally insecure or emotionally immature like their other parent and they're starting to quickly like not fuck with this person at all yep we have the nine of pentacles and the six of cups yeah their their childhood is what's going to make them really successful so the less that you overcompensate the less that you interfere in this natural progression, this natural evolution. Because that's what I feel like it is. Um, Yeah, it's pretty serious. The strength card, whatever this is, is going to give them courage. Now, I could be talking about your childhood, honestly. 
I could be talking about your childhood and your past. You may have had to raise yourself. Your parents may not have been around a lot. Maybe your mom was a single mom or your dad was a single dad. Or you just had delinquent parents and both of them wasn't shit. That childhood, you were protected that whole time. You've had protection that whole time. And your inheritance is protected as well. So a lot of you are getting out of situations with really fucked up people. And that's why you haven't reached the fullest potential of your financial abundance yet is because you had to receive this spiritual protection. Spirit could not let you create whatever this is, or they can't let you create whatever this is now while these raggedy ass people are still in your life. And that's what they want you to know. They're trying to get you to find the courage to break up with these people or break things off with these people or allow this tower to fall. I also feel like some of you who have been going through the healing process and you've realized this about yourself, you're finally allowing the tower to fall. You, you, whatever, whatever beliefs you had or whatever you had built up in your mind about yourself or the situation, it's like now you're rebuilding your life. Okay. So don't beat yourself up. I definitely feel like you were feeling guilty about maybe being a little bit emotionally immature, you didn't have a good compass. Like you, if you, yeah, look, and then there is the will of fortune compass. You see what I'm saying? It's like, if you didn't have good relationships or you maybe had failed marriages as an adult, or you have kind of like a disconnect between you and your kids, they're telling you don't beat yourself up about it. In the future, things are gonna come together. That's what you can expect. Even if your kids are grown, whatever age they are, it's like they're, at some point they're going to realize what happened to you and what happened to them and it's going to boost your relationship. Yeah. I feel like Spirit is also blessing you with a gift. Another six, six of pentacles with the will of fortune. You're being given a gift or you're being given assistance from Spirit either sent directly to you or is going to be given to you through like the good deeds and gestures of other people. Six is significant. Six of wands, six of pentacles, six of cups, six of swords. So you, yeah, that's what this is right here. Is the, whatever's not moving forward, it's going to move forward, but it's going to have to take this shift to take place. I feel like part of it is you changing. Because the reason why your relationships didn't work out is like you didn't ever have a compass. You didn't have a guide. You didn't have someone who was stable enough to teach you. And it's not necessarily their fault either. But at some point, someone in the in the bloodline, in the generations, have to realize it and do something to make a change. And I feel like that's you. So you may be making a change from what your parents did and the way they raised you to basically the way you're raising your kids is different and you're basically breaking the cycle okay come on curse breakers <laughs> curse breakers on three boom <laughs> okay what's the lovers because it's real heavy okay judgment yeah you're making better choices now when your kids are on their own, like if you have like teenagers or young children, when they get out on their own, they're going to make good choices. You don't have to worry about it or be stressed about it. They are really going to make good choices. You did a really great job. You're doing a really great job raising them. They know. They know shit. Page of Swords, Eight of Swords. You could have a Scorpio child, Gemini child, maybe even a Libra or Aquarius child, possibly a Cancer child. Cancer's in there somewhere. Yeah, but it's like they know they have a lot of information. I feel like to wake them up from any type of fear or anxiety that they have. Do you have no eight of swords? You have nothing to be worried about. What's the lovers? I think I'm getting some new neighbors. What's the lovers with the judgment? What is that? Spirit. Yeah, the three of swords. 
they see the bad choices of your co-parent. They see their bad choices. They're not going to repeat them. Yeah, four of wands and the page of swords. Yeah, it's like they're using it as a blueprint. So that's why I said, like, don't feel bad about whatever you had to do, okay? Because this part of their life is going to help them as they go out on their journey, okay? Or that's what happened to you. Like, whatever I'm saying is either about you as a child or about your kid, okay? And you may not know that you have this sibling. Maybe they feel this way. You may not know that your child has a sibling. Yeah, somebody's trying to hide another child. But you're starting to realize this. Okay. Or, you know, whatever. Okay. What's the Three of Wands? The King of Cups. What else is the Three of Wands? The Hangman. Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. What else is the Three of Wands? Damn, the Star and the King of Swords. All right, you go over there real quick. All right, Aquarius. Could be an Aquarius masculine. Okay. But that could be you also finding out about some things because I just threw it on top of that. Secret Children card. This reading feels heavy. Like, this energy feels heavy. Like, I can't really joke. And I'm not sure... Why? It could just be very emotional. Okay. But there is healing. Whatever stuck, whatever stuck energy or stuck place that you feel like you're in where you can't move forward and create what you want to create right now, it's purposeful. Because spirit is trying to get you to see this about your childhood and about your kids so that you move forward with le less pressure on your back. Okay. Realizing where you need to heal so that you don't put additional baggage onto your kids or realizing where you need to maybe give some grace to your parents or realizing where, you know, you may need to give your kids some credit. This is ultimately, uh, ultimately, this is ultimately what's helping you attract what you wanted to your life. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they're giving you this work. So this is what you need to work on. So I guess it's homework. I don't know. Um, but they're giving you this work to do. Or they gave you this work to do so that you could see clearly how to maybe forgive your parents. Or how to forgive yourself as a parent. Interesting. Like, that's what I feel, y'all. What and It's like whatever the disappointment is made you who you are. Ooh. Definitely was deep. All right, what's the advice for Pisces? Whatever way that you've been handling your emotions up until this point, it was definitely a protection mechanism, but you can't do that shit no more. You have to grow. You can't be 15-year-old you. You can't be 8-year-old you, 9-year-old you. You can't be 6-year-old you. You can't be 13-year-old you. You can't be 18-year-old you. You have to be you right now. I mean, if you are those ages, I don't know what to tell you, but it's like... Maybe your kid is coming to those ages. It's all right. What's the advice for Pisces spirit? Seer, see beyond the current situation. Then you have Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. And she will unleash the wild within. So yeah, there's definitely power that you have. But spirit doesn't want you to abuse your power in situations they don't want you to be excessive. They don't want you to be repressive. They don't want you to force yourself on people. I don't know why I had to say it like that, but definitely don't do that shit. Okay. Whatever you're dealing with right now, wherever you feel stuck right now, there are secrets about your childhood that are 
the reason why you feel stuck or that the reason why things can't move forward. And until you deal with this childhood trauma, you're not going to be able to move forward because your intentions won't be completely pure. They're trying to purify the waters of Lake Minnetonka inside your body and your mind. All right, but this seer card, let's see. Let's see the seer. It says, see beyond the current situation. Mm-hmm. And this she-wolf, I'm looking at it. It says, unleash the wild within. This is spirit's way of like, Breaking down, like that tower car we saw, it's breaking down any walls that you have up that can kind of like block out your blessings, okay? But Seer says, see beyond the current situation. Look beyond your current situation. Raise your vibration and focus on love. Most indigenous peoples have a seer in the family or tribe. Seers are the intelligent and intuitive beings who serve as direct channels for information on what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. Their energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. Okay, so Spirit is trying to explain my job to you. I'm not supposed to give you all the answers. I'm not supposed to tell you what to do. I'm supposed to give you clarity on where you're stuck or where you're having problems or where there may be setbacks so that you can do the work and fix it. And I think that's what a lot of people need to understand about readers. Okay. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so you can wait. A seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so you can, so can you wait. That was wrong. I can't read right now. There's something affecting my like mercury or something right now. Um, mm, I'm seeing different words because I have. I'm going to just tell y'all, I got, I think I got Mercury either in Pisces or Aquarius. And the fact that there may be some like Neptune and Aquarius or Pisces, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. What it says is a true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your spiritual eyes. Clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you're in an energetic holding space. Damn, did I, you know, you're in an energetic holding space while the universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening, so stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. I said what the fuck I said, and I know what I said is right. So it may not be exactly the details of your situation, but it's something about you not letting other people's intentions influence you and making sure that your intentions are pure so that you can create the best manifestation for your future. Because we're in a time, you guys, I, I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to have to keep saying this. If you're tired of hearing it, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I'm trying to do my job. This is my job. So we're in a time right now where it's going to become more and more clear, more and more heavy. I told the members in one of the weekly readings from a while back, people are going to start manifesting shit in front of their eyes and it's going to be scary. And you're going to start manifesting things in front of your eyes that maybe could excite you and be scary in a positive way, or it could be very negative, but you got to keep that heart pure so that you don't have the negative shit coming in. Okay. Okay. I promise you everything's going to be fine. And I can stand on that promise because I trust spirit. And I know that God is not going to lead us into no negativity unless we choose to go there. So I hope that helps you guys, with whatever you're dealing with, whatever your kids are dealing with. Okay. And I hope this reading clears your path to see whatever you were struggling to see. 
All right. And I will see you guys next time. Remember to like the video, subscribe, you guys. Put a brain in the comments if it's resonating. Book a reading if you want to book it. It's in the description box. Donate if you want to donate. And most importantly, remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.